Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Triple U Verminator here again, and welcome back to another GTA 5 online video. And this video, I'm actually going to be showing you like um, a mission, like an easy mission you can do that could give you a good amount of money. But there's like a trick that you need to do. It's so, like something different. Uh, it's actually been the case for many years, but I don't know how many of you have done know my my know this uh, this trick that you have to do in order to get more money in certain missions. Like this one I'm about to show you, there's plenty of other more the, other missions that you can do this and they could give you a good amount of money. But this is just one of them because uh, I'll, I'll explain here in a moment when, once I do the mission. But it's actually like a really interesting mission. It's very easy and but this one trick and it actually doesn't give you much money. But if you do what, exactly what I tell you, it's very easy, super easy actually. Then it could give you double, double the amount of money it, can, it normally does. You just put it on hard instead of normal or easy, and so and so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and start the mission to show you which one it is. So you can we go to here and we go to online. We go to jobs and play job, and it's a, it's usually called. We actually we go yeah play job and then we go to my jobs. Oops, uh, where is it? Rockstar created. Here's where we go. We go down here to missions. And then we go down and down, and down, and it's uh, let's see, which one? It should be, it should be coming up any moment now. There's a lot of missions. This one right here, peer pressure. This, this one right here is peer pressure. This is the, one, the mission I'm going to be showing you right now. So it's one of the easiest ones, easy ones you can make. So let's go ahead and start it. And so here, here's the mission right here. What you're going to do is we're going to set it too hard and then confirm settings and then basically just hit play and you start the mission it's a very easy mission which you can do by yourself or with a friend or with or with a, uh, the, like a team of four it's like a team of max with four people and so nice I'm in my, in my garage still that's good I need to drive all the way there but it's, it's fine it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a short drive we're going to take my Chaco, this is like my brother car. Another thing that I absolutely love. I had this thing since 2015 and I I still love it as much as I always did. So we're gonna go. So we're gonna go ahead and make the drive over there. And if you're one that has the play GTA 5 online like me but has I mean, I have, not, I don't have a, a bad amount of money, but I do need more money. And if you're one that doesn't have much money on GTA 5 online, doing these missions repeatedly, or along with other missions I'm going to show you, following the, the trick that I'm going to show you. Some of you might know know the trick that I'm going to show you already, but some of you don't. And also, if you're planning on starting GTA 5 online, or you started already, but you don't know it, this is a great thing. I'm going to show you this great. It's a great thing. Let's go right here. Let's go right here. Actually, you go right here. And you go ahead and grab a gun. And you're gonna take in, take all these people. And there you go, you basically just take take all all these bad guys out and then you collect the meth and then you have to take it to Gerald's apartment. And now this is where the this is where the trick starts. Basically, right now all you have to do is just take it to Gerald's apartment. But if you do it right away, like immediately, the mission will give you very little money. It's even on hard mode. So what you're going to do is that you're gonna to have to waste like at least fourteen minutes. Like nothing more, 
for nothing less. If you wait less, it's gonna give you less money than less money than the max amount it will give you. But if you wait longer, it's gonna give you the the most amount, but same, nothing more. And it should give you a little over eighteen thousand dollars as the max amount of money. And that's a good amount of money for a mission to CC. Uh, it is weird that you do have to wait at least fourteen minutes. But if you know that you have to waste a long a, a long time in order to get the max amount of money, it, it will be very beneficial to know that it's you at least have to wait 14 minutes in real life time, not in game time, but in real life. And you can the easiest way to do that is if you count the amount of minutes on your phone or on your PlayStation or whatever, or you place a or you place a like an alarm or like a timer on your phone for 14 minutes. You set a timer on your phone for 14 minutes, and once the time is up, you can you can officially deliver the map to Jell's apartment. So right now I'm going to drive to Jell's apartment. And if you want, feel free to let me know. To feel free to, in the, to post out in the comments uh, any other missions that you would like me to play. Any any missions, races, death matches lasting standing or even any other video ideas that you would like me to do also post down in the comments if you really like this car it's called the Ocelo Jackal uh, as I said I had it since 2015 I actually had it since March 2015 I actually remember that it's been over <laughs> almost six years ago, it's actually insane and you know, I still have this, I have not sold it once ever I just bought it and I never sold it and I'm proud of it I will never sell this thing, it's my baby it's like my brother so yeah, feel free to post down in the comments what you think of this car and if uh, you can get it on, uh, what is it? G like San Andreas Auto or something like that if I'm the internet on the, on the phone in the game and if you're wondering how much this car costs in this game, it actually costs only $60,000. It's, it's actually, well, obviously it's super cheap uh, if you have a, a lot of money. So, so yeah. Uh, also, right now, I would like to waste 14 minutes so I can get your maximum amount of money. But I don't know if I want to make you guys wait 14 minutes, full-time minutes, or not full-time, uh, real-life minutes. Uh, me just to just staying in this mission I will have to do something or drive around so what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete this mission but as I said if you want to try this mission try out this mission by yourself you just do whatever, the same thing I did but however once you get here you wait 14 minutes in real life time and the easiest, the easiest way to do that is that you set a timer on your phone for 14 minutes or an alarm and then once the alarm is off for 14 minutes you basically just live with the man and finish the mission. What you got? All right, cool. So I actually barely wasted any time at all. Let's see how much I get. Look at that. Barely $9,000. It's because it was a very, even on hard mode, because it was a very easy mission. But as I said, if you wait at least four, uh, 14 minutes real life time, you can actually get up to more than almost $19,000. And this is another one mission right here, Ruta Rumble. This, this one is a, a very hard mission. I used to play this all the time many years ago when I needed more money and I was at a much lower rank than I am now. But uh, if you had the Karuma, which I, in my case I do have the Kuruma then this machine will be very easy for you uh, but if you don't have it then it's very super difficult for you you might need a, a team of maybe three or four people as that's the max actually is four people and uh, if you as, and same with the, this mission that is the peer pressure if you do that mission and wait 14 minutes max it can give you up to more than twenty two thousand dollars actually just gonna not going to do this mission I'm just going to quit And 
And then, so we're back. We're back here. And that's it. That's that mission. G'day, boss. This is your captain speaking. Captain Brendan Darcy. You know, on your enormous super yacht. No, thank you, thank you very much, Captain Brendan. Okay. Also, on one another thing, feel free to let me know in the comments if you what videos you want you want me you want to see from me when playing Minecraft. Uh, Part three of the expo interior exploration of the Poseidon costume ship will be coming out. I mean, I don't know if tomorrow I will be uploading, but I will for sure be uploading on Thursday. Uh, not sure where we will make another video on GTA 5 or Minecraft. Most likely to be Minecraft. I will make part three of the Minecraft uh, interior exploration of the costume Poseidon, uh, Poseidon uh, costume cruise ship that I showed you earlier like yesterday in part one and part two videos and so yeah that will be all for this video to, uh, as I said don't know tomorrow I'll be uploading another video I might or I might not uh, I'm not sure but feel but stay tuned in case it don't but don't be surprised if I do or don't upload tomorrow but uh, yeah stay tuned for at least Thursday for for the most part on thurs for Thursday's video and so yeah thank you so much for watching make sure to hit that like button if you if, and, and hit that subscribe button it will re really it will help me out a, a bunch and a ton i will really really appreciate it and yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video on thursday